Team to Team is presented by Cigna, proud partner of the Arizona Cardinals. This week, it's the New York Giants, and we are joined by Bob Glober of Newsday to talk about, well, if it weren't for the Saints, Bob, the hottest team in the NFC, having won four in a row. We'll get to the turnaround, but when the last time we saw this Giants team in action, a huge surprise. Mm -hmm. How surprised were you? Not only did they beat the Seahawks, but they did so in Seattle. Uh, shocked. I mean, let's face it. This was Colt McCoy going against Russell Wilson, you know, potential MVP candidate in Seattle. I know the crowd's not there, but still, it's on the road. It's across the country with their backup quarterback. Coming off of three straight wins over teams with losing records. So it was a big test for them just to kind of hang around. <laughs> not only hung around, but they, they won the damn thing. And they looked really good doing it, especially on defense. They did just enough on offense. They kept pounding the, the running game. And then Wayne Gallman broke that 60-yarder late. And that really opened things up. And that's that's what you get from teams that are committed to the run. It, it finally breaks. Uh, and then they played just tremendous defense and rendered Wilson, you know, harmless in that game. The defense overall during this four game stretch and then, you know, it wasn't that long ago after losing to the Cowboys, this Giants team was 0-5 and, and maybe left for dead. But this turnaround specifically, you touched on it a couple of times, the defense. What has changed on the defensive end that has allowed this Giants team to not only get back in the race, but right now lead the NFC East? Yeah, throw in the fact that, you know, 0-5 and, and also 1-7. and seven. So they really were, were buried. And that defense, you know, that defense, Craig, has been good the entire season. There was one mess up against the 49ers, and they were there were a lot of backups in that game. It was the first month of the season. They just, they just didn't have it, and they got blown out. But other than that, they've been very close. They were close against Pittsburgh, close against Tampa gave the Rams everything they could and now beat the Seahawks. So the, the difference is, I think, just continuing to play, continuing to absorb the system. And, you know, Blake Martinez, a veteran linebacker, who's been a terrific free agent addition. He's got a back issue that, you know, might limit him this week. But he was saying early in the season, you know, they're losing games. He goes, you know, I, I, I don't know how to say it or why, but there's nothing we're doing wrong on defense, it's it's gonna come, and I, you know it sounds like weird. And they kept losing games, and and he kept saying, "No, it's it's there. We know it's there," and it was, and it is. So I think that's just the belief in the system. Patrick Graham, the first year defensive coordinator, and a Bill Belichick disciple, has done a terrific job. I mean, this looks like a Belichickian defense in that they're taking a lot of no-name players, putting them in good, useful roles and they're getting it done. And James Bradbury, the cornerback, has been, you know, one of the great shutdown cornerbacks of the NFL this season, and it's been a huge addition. Well, the Cardinals have had issues defensively against Bill Belichick clones, if you will, Ryan Flores, Matt Patricia, when he was then the Lions head coach. Do we expect, as far as trying to contain Kyler Murray, a typical game plan, much like we saw last week against Russell Wilson? Yeah, I think, you know, the Giants didn't really spy Wilson. I think there's a better chance that they might uh, spy Kyler Murray just because of his just flat out speed. So, but I, I don't think they're going to do that on a consistent basis. I, I think they'll be, try to be unpredictable. And one thing that Patrick Graham does that Belichick loved to do and still loves to do is play defenses that confuse the quarterback. And Wilson was completely confused. So what, what they do is they play, it's it's a combo defense. It's combination, zone and man, even on the same play. And Belichick has made a, a living on that over the years. And Patrick Graham is doing it. It's a confusing defense in the secondary. And quarterbacks really have a hard time figuring that out. And I think the Giants have done a good job with that. They do mix things up. They're very variable, very flexible, and you know, quite a bit daring when, when it comes to just putting on pressure when it when it's needed. Let's take a look at the Giants on offense. Colt McCoy getting the win last week because Daniel Jones was inactive with a hamstring injury. It sounds like the team is optimistic. He'll be able to give it a go this week. But it's that running game of the Giants that I think the Cardinals need to be aware of. 
Yeah, that's the big surprise here, that the running game has gotten better and better, uh, and Wayne Gallman has been the beneficiary of that. Let's face it, when Saquon Barkley went out, it was a big drop-off in terms of talent, but they have gotten it done, and, and Gallman has been really good by the goal line. Um, he's very good in those short yardage situations, and then, like I said before, he, they just they keep pounding it, even if the, the yards aren't there. They just keep at it, pounding the rock, and then something breaks. And Alfred Morris has been a really good addition. Um, former Washington, you know, feature back who disappeared for a few years, and he has done a very good job. So they, they are committed to the run, and that has been a big thing and, and a surprising thing, especially with Barkley out for the season with that knee injury. Last question for you here as we take a look at this matchup on Sunday. From the Giants' perspective, when they look at the Cardinals, is it Kyler Murray? Is there something else that the Cardinals do well that the Giants might have to key in on for them to be able to get the win? Well, Kyler Murray, DeAndre Hopkins, you know, take your pick. They're, they're concerned about uh, Patrick Peterson on defense and 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 the you know the the play of a lot of players. I think. I think that the Cardinals are still an emerging team. They're, they're getting better. They're just not there yet. So they, you know, they, they suffer these setbacks like they have in the last couple of weeks. But, you know, this is a good football team and they're a growing football team, much like the Giants. But I think the Giants are a little bit more sure of themselves on defense. So that will be the big challenge for Kyler Murray and DeAndre Hopkins and company um, in trying to figure that out and trying to break something that is, is meaningful. You know, the Giants do not give up a lot of big plays, but Hopkins can get down the field. He can be that big type, big, big, big play type player. Um, but the, the Giants do very well against that. Like last week against DK Metcalf, um, it's, it's going to be a big challenge for them on the road. Yeah, the Cardinals looking to get back on track and when the Giants certainly have found something at least during this four game run. It's gonna be a fun matchup. Bob, we appreciate your time here on Team to Team and uh, best of luck the rest of the season. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Good luck to you too.